I do not believe that any of us have dreams that were not given to us for the purpose of accomplishing those particular dreams. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. But how do you keep going? Why do you keep going? When the world says everything else is supposed to be opposite. See, sometimes we can't say, I can do that. But what we can say, that it's possible. And I've studied all week. I've studied all week for this one moment. And I know it's going to happen. I know, I know it's going to happen that I can have my dream as we run toward it, as we work on it day in and day out. But people who are running toward their dreams, life has a special kind of meaning. That in the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur, incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. I can't do it no more. But suppose I told you the greatest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. And you can't leave the battlefield. You can only leave the battlefield for injury, not pain. I promised myself when I came into this game, if I was going to leave it, I would rather die on the field. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. Man believes in the possible. God believes in the impossible. And ladies and gentlemen, I started working on my dream. And most people don't work on their dreams. Why? For many years, I didn't. One is because of fear. The fear of failure. What if things don't work out? And the fear of success. What if they do and I can't handle it? The other thing is that most people, ladies and gentlemen, they get comfortable. They stop growing. They stop working on themselves. They stop stretching. They stop pushing themselves. And they end up becoming very cynical about life. And they throw in the towel on themselves and on their families and on their dreams. And the other thing is that most people don't feel worthy. What I'm doing now, I could have been doing years ago. But then there's another side of pain. That's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. See, sometimes we think the pain is what controls us. It's actually our subconscious mind that if we ever tapped into that, that's what dictates most of our lives. Because see, pain, pain is tricky. Because if you don't control pain, it'll control you. So I applaud you for your dreaming, for your running toward your dream. I applaud you for believing in yourself. Because that's what life is about, stretching and challenging, looking for ways that you can begin to improve yourself. And I said, I cannot believe this. I said, I cannot believe this. Your dream is possible.